Hello fellow YouTubers, this is N0AGI. I'm here to do a short video or a series of videos actually about my Raspberry Pi uh, cluster and uh, the web farm that is currently running uh, using these four uh, Raspberry Pi uh, uh, devices here. This one in, the, in this black case here, that's uh, acting or working as a broker. Uh, and these other three Raspberry Pis are the worker uh, nodes in the cluster. So uh, what this does today is it serves as a web farm for the call sign lookup service uh, that can be found at call.n0agi.com and um, the way it works is uh, these four nodes are connected up to my uh, Linksys router here and the Linksys router the 54 uh, GS is currently configured using the DDWRT uh, firmware update and then the nodes are hooked up to the the back of the uh, the router the uh, the black boxed uh, Raspberry Pi acts as a front ending um, front ending node uh, which receives all the incoming requests and then it load balances uh, the coming the incoming request between the three nodes here so what I have right now here is a, a USB power hub and uh, that powers the the four Raspberry Pis uh, what I'm trying to do is it's currently in uh, a free form as you can tell it's not structured in any particular manner uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to stack them up um, using a frame that I uh, just got from um, from uh, a vendor on eBay uh, I believe it's uh, yeah it's from Hong Kong but I got this from uh, this vendor here on eBay and um, I got two units of this uh, uh, the cluster frames if you will and I'm gonna hook this up together and I'm gonna mount uh, the the Raspberry Pis uh, onto the frame and uh, stack them up neatly so I'll be right back so guys this is how it goes together uh, these little washers go in between like so and uh, they come with uh, the hardware to kind of mount them up on this frame here uh, looks very nicely built I'm really happy with the product it's nice robust and uh, I think it's made of hard plastic so um, definitely would recommend this vendor uh, for this uh, for this product here so I'm gonna hook this up and I'll be right back so guys I installed uh, the first uh, pie on this board here and uh, looks very nice um, there are four hardware screws and nuts kinda holding it together and uh, there's enough clearance at the bottom to get to the SD card um, and enough clearance on the side to get to the uh, the ports and also I guess the there's enough clearance to protect these cables also so uh, I'll be right back so hey guys so I just uh, stacked up uh, two of them together just to show you how it works uh, these spacers are nicely sized uh, so that's pretty cool uh, really like it um, anyways I'm gonna stack uh, the the other two up and I'll be right back Alright, so here's a fully assembled four Raspberry Pi stack. And uh, these pesos are really nicely built. There's sufficient clearance between the two, uh, between any two pies. And uh, very nicely built material. So, yeah, uh, I got one other set here for if in case these were coming in from uh, Hong Kong so I didn't want to wait whatever another 10 days for these to arrive so I got an extra pack uh, just in case but overall this looks really good uh, at the bottom here uh, this is really interesting because you could actually mount this as you can tell uh, let me set this up here as you can tell you can actually 
bolt the bottom to whatever surface you need to secure this on top of. So for example I can potentially hook it up like so right on top of the router and uh, make it self-contained if you will. That way you can move this around to whatever location and uh, uh, be up and running really well. So I think I might even try that at some point in time. So I hate to kind of close or block this uh, air circulation vent because uh, you know I think the router can get really hot too so we'll see but uh, for now it looks uh, it looks really good okay guys so here it is uh, fully assembled at least for now so it's all neatly strapped up uh, it's uh, neatly powered up in the back as you can tell and uh, yeah it's all set to go now they're all powered up as you can tell this this Raspberry Pi's power LED uh, is broken so it's it's still functioning but that's kinda weird it came like that when I purchased it I was just lazy to or too lazy to take it back and get an exchange but it works uh, so here is the the fully assembled with the power hub I'll eventually move this to a, another spot but I think uh, this should be good to go for now uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll have a follow-up video on how I set this up from a software standpoint and as, uh, as far as the web farm the NGINX and uh, the Linux standpoint I'll do a separate video on that uh, we'll talk soon bye